It's bothering you? I can't help it. I'm gonna bring something up right now. Do you understand what we're doing with this show? What? What? We talk about all the sh** that pisses us off. We are fixing the world one bone at a time. Everybody out there has got a bone to pick. And this is a bone to pick podcast. You got bones. Cheap paper towel dispensers. We got bones. Cops on scooters. I got a bone to pick with you. I have a bone to pick with you. We're gonna go nuts. Here we go. Everybody's got a bone to pick. What's up, everybody? I'm Paul Verzi. And I'm Robert Kelly. And this, this is a Bone to Pick, Pick podcast. podcast. The best podcast in the world. The best show in the world, really. Okay? And we want to thank all of you guys for going to our YouTube and hitting the subscribe button. If you did not go to our YouTube and you did not hit the subscribe button, you, what are you doing? You're a piece of shit. I mean, what are you if doing? If you watch this... And you didn't hit the button? You're... you're I have a bone with you. You're, yeah. You're a bone. First of all, you can't watch this show and not hit the button. No, just hit the button. Just hit the button. I mean, here's the deal, too. We're not a podcast. No. It's a show. The best show. We're a show. Yeah. We're a show. We are a show that is saving the world one, one bone, bone at, at a time. time. Okay. All right, here we go. And you know what? Go to patreon.com slash bone to pick cast. You want to be a member of the Patreon and support the show and your bones go right to the top. So when you send your fan bones, your video bones, zoop, right to the top. Right, Michael? Oh, Patreon goes first. First. Miguel, am I right? What? Miguel. Si, si, papi. Okay, papi. Duele bacalao. <laughs> Today on the Bondi Big Box. <laughs> Today on the Bondi Big Box, we are going to do a different version. We are going to make it for the people that are coming here illegally. <laughs> <laughs> we know you, don't uh, have, you have cell phones. Yeah. That'd be great if... if, if oh. <laughs> If we were popular in like uh, dude, did you in Mexico, <laughs> dude, did you see not to get? I, I don't. We want do it. have somebody from Tijuana. No, I think we and didn't we have what was the craziest? We had a country? Tijuana one. Did we have somebody from Estonia? Dude, we had like what we've was it? Estonia. We've had Russia. We've had Australia. We've had New Zealand. We've had Mexico. We've had Brazil. We've had them from all over. Tijuana, dude. Is how wild. funny is it that there's some Latino guy going? I'm fed up. I'm going to bone to big podcast. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I the, can't take it. The cartels are giving me bone after bone after bone. You do not kill my wife and then well, kill okay, myself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you come here for a medication? <laughs> all, right, all right. What all do right. we got? You got a bone? I got a bone. Then you go. Go. You're boning first. Watch that. Nice. Look at that. That's nice. That's a nice throw. Okay. I got a cross throw it over to you. It's a little bit more complicated. It's oh, the suck. same throw. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There we go. What's your bone? Bone one. I got a lot of bones at airports and on airplanes, but one bone. We travel bone, a lot. We travel a lot. Okay. One bone is if you're on an airplane, here's my bone. My bone is if you're on an airplane and you are in the window seat, okay? You're in the window seat, okay? A lot. It's a, me. A lot it's me. Yeah, me too it's a me. lot. It's me too a lot. I'm always I would window. say I'm 70, 30 window. Yeah. Okay? I mean, I'm, I'm 90. 90, 10? 10. Okay, yeah. I'm probably 80, 20 window, to Unless be I honest. I get upgraded. You know, you know and, and sometimes the people that book me automatically think, I want the window, which I'm fine with. But here's the thing with the window, okay? When you are a window seat, you got the person that's in the aisle sleeping, and you got to take a piss, and you do have to bump them or nudge them if you go. Now, I'm a very, very, let me say this. I'm very, very in tune with that person okay. as far as what I need to do. My etiquette being in that chair, Yeah. I don't want to wait. All right, to go show me your etiquette. Ready? Yeah, you're sleeping there, and I'm here. And I got to piss? No, no, no. First of all, nobody's ever done that. I, I'm not I'm not sitting next to a fucking St. Bernard. Um, Look, but This is my character. You're sitting next to this guy. I and, chose this guy. And I got to pee? You got to pee. All right. Then I go, I'm going to let him sleep. That's what I do. <laughs> no, I'm serious. All right. Ready? No. Now, now I'm just like this. All right. Now I got to really pee. I got to really pee. I'm going to go. Ah! So, what? So, what? What's up? What? Oh, sorry. I'm 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 so sorry. Oh, let me do it again. Let me do it again. No, it again. I'll do it again. I what? Won't do that. I will do it again. I'll do, I'll uh, do it <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yes. <laughs> no, that's not good. Let me try no, it again. No, no. Let me try it again. Okay, right? Let me try it again. Okay, okay. Let me try it again. Shit, dude, I gotta piss. I don't wanna wake this guy up. I'm just trying to do it quick. Excuse me, sir. I gotta go to the bathroom. Excuse me, sir. Sir. <laughs> uh, flight attendant, he's dead. <laughs> no. 
I, I had to go to the bathroom mm -hmm. and the person didn't get up. They really? made me go around. My mm -hmm. bone is if you're in a window seat and you have to pee and the person goes, oh, you got, and they just go all the way back without getting up. Without and, and now I got to rub knees with them. My, my junk is like right in front of them yeah. or I got to go around. I you knock their water first? over. You go junk first? I try not to. I go butt first. I go junk first on the way back. You go junk first on the way back? I think so. You got to go butt, all, butt first all the time. Either way, they got to get up, no? You can't put your junk in. You can't go junk first. But either way, they got to get junk up, right? Junk first is gay. What? <laughs> junk first is gay. Well, maybe I'm, you know, looking for a touch. No, okay. I'm kidding. I'm I mean, kidding. listen, dude. No, here's you the deal. Junk first. If a guy goes junk first, if I ever get the window and the guy goes junk first, oh. No, no. Here I go like this. Oh. <laughs> no, not, you don't have to go, oh, if you're up. I would get, get up. up. I do get up. So my bone is people in the aisle seat that do not get up and let you have a nice, easy passage to go to the bathroom. Now, let me say this. When I'm at a ball game or a concert or something like that, and they keep getting up past me, there are some times where I go like this. I can, at a game, when I have knee space, I can up. go back scooch and up. make my knees back yes. so they go. On an airplane... On an airplane, get up. when the person next to you goes, I gotta go. You unbuckle your belt, you stand up, you get up, and you let them go. And then now you could either now you either have the stretch time yourself. What if the guy is working his ass off? What if I'm working my, I'm typing, I'm doing all my pie charts, and I'm getting my shit, and I'm into it. Um, uh, no. Okay, ready? Let's do it. Ready? I gotta pee real bad, or I gotta go to the bathroom real bad. Ready? Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, I got to go to the bathroom so bad. I'm sorry. I got to. I got to. Okay. I got to just. Give me a sec. No, okay. <laughs> sir, I got to. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Hurry. Gotta, all right. I'm going to. Hurry. Hang on. I'm going to shit. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. You shit on planes? No, no, once in my life. Oh, God. You? Mm. One time in my life. Maybe once. The one time. Emergency. I had, I had no choice. Yeah, you don't shit on a plane. No. No. Unless it's an absolute emergency. But here's the bone. You just got to get up. Got to get up. You got to get up and do it. And I had somebody go, oh. And they just went like that. And our knees were locked. Hitting oh, each other. Oh, you nabbed and, the and knees. I, and I wanted to go. I wanted to. I wanted to. I should have done this, everybody. So this is part of this bone is on me. I should have said, like, do you mind? Can you just get... I mean, I, I hit knees with them. Oh. They're sitting there. I'm like, oh. it's now my ass is in there. I mean, it oh. was just so fucked up. And then here's the thing. On the way back, they just, you got to do it again. Get up. You get up. Here's the deal. You chose the aisle because you have access to the bathroom without any hassle. Right? Yep. You have access. You have access to getting up stretching. You have access to go to the bathroom anytime you want. Get a water. You get you you could get a water. You could you look could, down the aisle. Look you, at the you peasants look at the, in, in the back. You could make fun of the peasants in the back. <laughs> when the flight attendant comes, you have the first thing. Excuse me, man. You know they don't have to go over. To you. So since you get, you, you get drink order first, you get food order first. I'm gonna be honest with you. I used to be a window guy. People are telling me I'll and especially again, and I know everybody. I want to sound rude. I don't want to sound, I know some people can't afford first class or whatever. No, I'm just saying. But an aisle seat is underrated, dude. Especially in first class because you still get, it's it's nice. I, I like the thing. Uh, yeah. Listen. I like the thing. I like doing this. I'm just saying you got to get up. You yeah. got to get up. You got to get up. How about this? How about when they're on the window, you're in the aisle, and they go, no, 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 I got it. They don't even, I had somebody just get up and not even tap me. I woke up. To somebody touching my knees. Oh yeah, wake but me they up. Were, they were trying though. Nah, don't try. They were trying don't to not wake do, you up. No, wake me up. Tap me. Look, you're not in my bedroom. If you're in my bedroom right. and you start, and then you what? We're on a, we're on a plane with other people. Hey, can I? And I'll get up and get out so you don't have to touch me. Yeah. I don't want you touching me. I don't. Are you gonna yeah. wake me up anyways? Yeah. You're waking me up anyway. That's the worst part. Yeah, they're waking you up anyway because yeah, you're gonna feel it. Yeah, because I'm feeling somebody yeah. touch me. I gotta get up and now I gotta scooch back in my seat. No, I got it. You don't got it. Nobody's got it. Yeah. Nobody's and got it. And you know it. what good people do? What? Good people go, sorry, this is the last time. I'll do that. I'll go like this. I'll go, hey, tsh. like if I have to. Here's the deal. I figured it out. You get one bathroom every two and a half hours. That's good. Right? One bathroom, one stretch. So if I'm going New York to L.A., yeah. it's about a five-hour, 20-minute flight. Yeah. You get two to three. 
Yeah. Two to three. But you tell them after two, I'm going to try not to go again. I'm sorry. Like you should. That's a good person. A good person goes, hey, hopefully you won't have to deal with this. I'm sorry. You know, that's. Just, yeah. How about this? Sorry, I got to get up. Just say sorry first. Yeah. She'd be like, hey, man, sorry. I got to get up. Yeah. I got to get up. Yeah. And then they're gonna, if they if they just scooch back. Oh, now I'm going to go aisle. I'm mad. Because I have a bad I'm back. I'm mad. Yeah. But I'm now I'm going to go aisle because I have a bad back, which means sometimes I have to get up and stretch. I'm not going to do that to the person. I have the etiquette, the plain seat etiquette. But the origin, the bone that I'm saying here is if you're in that passenger, if you're in the aisle seat and somebody says it has to go to the bathroom, yeah, this is I'll what you do. You go, OK, one second. Undo your belt, get up, step out, and let them get out. That's yeah. it. No, no, you, you can't get your fat fucking ass up for two seconds, you piece of shit. How you can't this? do this. How about this when you're coming back and they, they ignore you and you got to go, hey, I got to get back to my seat. No, that, that's, I'll fight somebody. If the, I mean, if they, act, you know what I had? I had a lady, I, this is how cool the lady I had was. I had an Italian woman from Long Island sit next to me. Of course. Okay? She fucking gave me a Xanax and her lasagna. You fucking believe it? You fucking believe it? Yesterday. I'm sorry. Two days ago. I'm sorry. She I'm sorry. <laughs> what? She, I'm that's sorry. a God's honest truth. Hang on one second. And you know what? She Come. waited for me. She went like this for the bathroom. She waited for me like this. Okay, hon. You could. She had the best thing. I'm that's sorry. what you did. You took fucking, what? you took rogue Xanax and rogue lasagna on a plane? Here's the deal. You took rogue. Can I tell what happened? You took rogue lasagna no, no, it was, no, no, it was the dinner for the, from the plane. She gave you her dinner? Yeah. So Why? Here's what happened. Okay, here were the choices. Can I get, tell you the choices? Go ahead. Okay, the choices were a salad with burrata cheese. Uh, a salad with burrata cheese. Yep. Okay. Uh, curry chicken with rice and vegetables. <laughs> and uh, a beef lasagna. That, okay? You know what that curry chicken is. It might have been delicious. I love chicken. I mean, I'll tell, I'll tell you what, dude. Delta's, Delta's food's good. Curry? Curry chicken, I like it. Spicy yeah, curry that, chicken. That's that, that, that's a. Okay, hold on. That's a that's a. I would have gone curry. So okay. of course you would have. You fucking liberal. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Hey, what's up, everybody? I want to tell you about our new sponsor. We love this sponsor. If you ever forgot to apply deodorant, you know that ranky smell you can get. Mando's whole body controls your nasty odor for 72 hours. It works with your pits, your privates, your, your, your balls, your feet. Wherever you have odor, you can use Mando, which is awesome. Try their scents like Bourbon Leather, Mount Fuji, and Pro Sport, or their even unscented version so you can smell like you, just without the B.O. I like the Fuji and the Pro Sport. Yeah. I love that Pro Sport. Pro Pro good. Smells good, man. You smell like a man. And the bourbon one, look, I'm a recovering alcoholic, but I don't mind smelling like one. <laughs> <laughs> Baking soda free, paraben free, and pH balanced for safe use below the belt. Head into spring right now with deodorant that can handle the heat. That's right, guys. And Mando's starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a, a solid stick deodorant. It comes with the tube of cream, which I love. Uh, deodorant, two free uh, products of your choice, like the mini body wash and deodorant wipes and free shipping. Luckily, we have a discount code to help you guys get hooked on our favorite smelling whole body deodorant on the market. It's the best. That's right. New customers right now are going to get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code. That's over 40%, guys, off your starter pack. Use code BONE at shopmando.com. That's S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O.com. Code BONE. It's time to smell better naked. Your partner will thank you. All right, back to the show, guys. I'm sitting there. She goes, she was sweet. She was probably in her, I would say, late 50s. And she's talking to me about her kids going to college. Yeah. She goes, oh, she goes, I hate to fly. She goes, I'm not a good flyer. She's like, that's why I had to take the Xanax. And then her friend looks over. She's not, she's fine. Oh, where are you from? I'm from Long Island. Oh, my son goes to this college. My daughter goes to this college. All this and that. And I go like this. I go, hey, I go, you mind? Uh, I go, <laughs> my, hey, can I get that lasagna? I go, no, I go, I go, I go, uh, you got like Xanax helps you sleep. I go, yeah, I wish I could sleep. And then she goes, uh, I go, you don't happen to have any one of those Xanax. And she goes, yeah, it's really light though. It's only 2.5 milligrams. I go, oh no, I go, you got it. I go, you got a Xanax with like 10 milligrams. And she yeah. goes, she goes, no, 2.5. And she goes, oh, I'd love to give you one. So she gives me one. I throw it down, right? Nothing. And then I'm just, you know, don't even really feel it because it's such a low dose. Couldn't have been sweeter lady. And then I get the salad with burrata cheese. Yeah. She gets the lasagna. Yeah. 
I eat mine very small. Yeah. And I just look over 10 minutes later and she just didn't touch her lasagna and she just goes, hey, you want this? And I go, yeah. She's like, I'm not going to eat it. So then I ate her lasagna. So I had a salad, I had a lasagna and a Xanax, this lady. But when I went to the bathroom going back to the bone, guess what she did? Stood up. Not only did she stand up. She waited. She was looking me to get back right and as soon as she saw me coming down She's, she got up she was like she did everything that you're supposed to do in that seat now granted she gave me drugs and lasagna i mean so that's I'm, nuts. I'm gonna be a little it's nuts. i mean i'm a little it's nuts yeah you know what my you wife know, said I, my wife goes um, your wife was there no i was texting with my wife i go this nice lady she's afraid to fly and everything like that i go she gave me a xanax she's super nice and my wife goes can we not take drugs from strangers you can't take no a, but she was an italian you can't take a pill she was italian doesn't matter you don't take a fucking pill from a lady on the plane. It was a 2.5 milligram. It, you zang. don't know what it was. What are you, a fucking f pharmaceutical person? No, uh, either are way. Are you a pharmacist? All right. How either. do you know? She just gave you a pill and you popped it in your mouth? What are you, nuts? Uh, it, you don't take... When you say it like that. It, no, I say it the way it is. <laughs> you don't take a pill from a lady on a plane. I could tell. You can't tell. She, her kid went to college. It doesn't matter. She was a Italian from Long Island. You don't know? Well, yeah. I could tell. She was trying to put you to sleep so she could rifle through your pockets. Yeah, dude, no, you don't take rifle to my pockets. and a lasagna she on was an a airplane. She's trying to fill you mom. up and then get you high. So you'd be <laughs> yeah, she's going to fucking jerk you off in the seat next to you. She could have been a freak. I mean... Okay, yeah, I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, you know, I made, I made it good again. <laughs> what about this as a solve? It's, I've done this before where you go... They won't move. You just you, you fake like turbulence and like wake them up. When they get up, you're like, oh, I was a, oh, I gotta get up. And you fake them awake, so they, you can't. You're completely blameless. Mike's in this doing improv on planes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> everybody's looking at Mike. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you're not hijacking this thing. <laughs> really scare the fuck out of the person. Next. Is All that window open? <laughs> Dude, the pilot just got out. No, just <laughs> just get He's up. He's lighting his shoe on fire. <laughs> what? Huh? Oh no no no. We're going into the storm. <laughs> just get There's up. There's something on the wing. It light my croc on fire. <laughs> the engine exploded. No, just, <laughs> just get up. Just get up. Just do that. Just do that. Blah! What is that? I was in my coffee. Oh, that's my... What? 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 It's just get a rid, piece Get rid of it. All right. It looks like a fish bone. It's... It looks like a fish bone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go, bud. All right, here we go. Bone two. <laughs> My bone is. No more birthday parties at breakfast. There's no birthday pancakes, birthday French toast, okay? Birthday celebrations are dinner only. Dinner only, at the end of the meal, on a dessert, you can have the whole fucking troupe come out and sing whatever stupid song you want to your dumb family. And I don't care if it's a kid and their favorite thing is pancakes. Breakfast is quiet time. Breakfast is soft talk. Breakfast <laughs> is you get your eggs, you get your pancakes, you get whatever it is, you eat quietly and you have a good time. It's breakfast. It's before noon. Nobody wants to hear, happy birthday to you. Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to do that. Because as soon, I'm sitting there having breakfast the other day at a breakfast place. Like a diner. A, yeah, like a diner. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sitting there. And we, you know, we just woke up, we got our shit together. We're at the breakfast place. You know, we're waiting for our eggs and stuff. And then the stuff comes and all of a sudden we see a pancake cake, a pancake with a can, a fizzy candle. And the kid had friends? Like it was a birthday party? It was a birthday, breakfast birthday party. No, you can't do it. You don't have breakfast birthday parties. No, at least lunch. I mean, Not late, even late, lunch. Late lunch. Lunch is no. Breakfast in public, at a, it's a dinner time only thing. Birthdays. A dinner time only. You don't have a pancake birthday cake coming out and everybody's all whipped up and everybody's screaming, yay, yay, yeah. <laughs> and my head hurts. Okay, well, I he, just got my first cup of coffee. I'll give you the breakfast I'm dealing thing. with my kid. No, but you've had Max had a birthday party during the day. 
at a like a at grand a bur- at like, a birthday I'm, party. I'm saying like Grand Prix in Mount Kisco at, in the afternoon. Right, that's what I'm saying. You give it afternoon. But, but after, listen, that's a private event for birthday functions. Breakfast is breakfast only. I give you that. A breakfast is breakfast only. Yeah. Breakfast is breakfast is breakfast is breakfast. You don't, dude. I almost I almost went over to the fucking. I went no, no. You're not doing it. You're not doing it. Here's you're the not, deal too. Who, also, you got to get your friends' parents got to get the, their kids you gotta up get early. Up. You got to get your kids up. Go. We're going to the diner for a nine o'clock birthday you party. You and your stupid what are you, family. Nuts? You just had. Are eggs. you nuts? Eggs, e- eggs. Parents got kids. Games and practices. You can't do that. You can't. No, it's a breakfast. Is breakfast. You don't have a a, 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 a sparkler and a fucking no. hunk of fresh toast. No. And this little shit. And then you got the presents and they're loud. How old were they? Oh, uh, dude. I don't know. Three, four, five, ten. I don't yeah, that's know. That's even worse. Like I don't even know, dude. It's like, it's like now it's the, your your table's loud. Now you got presents. It's like, fuck you. You can't do a breakfast birthday no, party. No, breakfast birthday party is off well, What limits. time are you talking, by the way? I'm talking uh, maybe You're not 10, talking. 10.30. Okay, yeah, that's 10:30. early. That's early. 10.30? Man. Nah. I'm 10:30, with you. 10.30, all of a sudden there's a happy birthday. Yeah, and that means you got to get up. If you're at a 10.30 birthday party with kids, that means you're up at 9. That, you're up at 9 o'clock for a birthday party for breakfast? I'm with you, dude. That's You, you can't. Uh, the thing is. People got a plan. Can, can you we, do it at home? But here's the thing, too. You do whatever you want no, at your house. Your house. Okay. Yeah. Breakfast party at, at the your house, house sounds like a good time. Yeah, yeah. Don't give a well, shit. Look, if the neighbors, right? If yeah, the neighbors yeah, yeah, want to yeah. come no, over, something this, like that. Here's the thing, too. That song, you can't help but not get in on it. You can't help not. So all of a sudden, ha, watch. No, you know Start what I do? Start happy birthday. Uh, Start singing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday, birthday to you. My eggs are getting cold. I know. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. No, I like it medium now. They're fucking, the, the yolk is hard. Do happy you clap? Birthday. I do this. Ready? Ready? Say, uh, say so, so do it, do Dear so-and-so. Dear Sophia. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. I can do this. Anyway, what the fuck are they doing here? What are you so, doing? Yeah. I was I was livid. My little girl, her birthday was uh, a couple little, you know, not long ago. Yeah. You know what we're doing? What? Friday night arcade and bowling. Bang. That's what you do. That's what you do. You go night. Yep. You get the friends. They could plan. You Even the plan. friends that are last minute the could still get the go. gift. The, the fathers, fathers can, can go. go. Yes. The fathers can, can go. go. And it's dinner. So you get the cake. Yes. It's, 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 and everybody's in a better mood. I'm not in a good mood. Nobody's in a good mood at breakfast. Here's me as a parent in the morning. Yeah. Come on. It's nine o'clock. Let's well, go. your friend wanted to do it. Right. Your friend wanted to do it. No, get in the car. I'm Let's tired, go. Dad. What are you I getting? know. We're all tired. Put that Nobody down. wants to do this. Yeah, don't no, you can't get fifteen pastries. Put it back. <laughs> no, you can't use the tongs. Use the tongs. No morning birthdays is a good no one. No morning birthdays. Out. 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 Because what happens if like mom and dad are split up, Listen, right? You do a birthday breakfast, then a birthday dinner, that kid's having the best day of his life. No birthday breakfast. There's no oh, breakfast. Huge, no there's birthday. No birthday. Huge pile of ca- no. pancakes at home. You wake up. At kid home. Wakes up like this. At there's home. No, bir- no, no, bir- no birthday if your parents are divorced. No, because <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. There's my bone. There you go. <laughs> That's a good one. No birthday breakfast. That's a good one. Are right, you guys ready for some f- 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 fan, fan bones? bones? Fan bones. Let's go. Fan bones. Again. As if, as if you've done the show before, uh, I just want to say we have a good one coming in here from our boner pal, Pat. Nice. Pat has a bone to pick with people who do way too much <laughs> what? with their kids, especially on birthdays. What? What the fuck, dude? this dude? happens every show, What's dude. What's going on, dude? Dude, this is like, that's Are how you... Are you, you in my notes? Uh, buddy, I'm telling you right now, I, put, I, I go through the, the list, I go through the emails, and I find bones. Dude. And then I pick ones... Some of them are from a long time ago. Like this one came in a long time ago, but we're only we're catching up as best we can. And here's the thing, dude: we don't so plan any be, of this shit. I just picked one that I thought was good at the time, and here it is. He's got a bone to pick. Pat has a bone to pick with people that do too much on social media for their kid's birthday. It's their monthly birthday. It's their one month birthday, two yeah. month birthday, three month birthday. Uh, it's whatever age they are. It's too much. 
Just nobody gives you. This is what I don't it. like. I don't like when somebody writes in this. Okay. I've watched them grow up and I'm so proud and I, I'm so proud of the woman they're becoming. It's like she's 10. She's not becoming any yeah. woman yet. You don't know if she's a so, twat yeah, We yet. don't know what she's doing. <laughs> like, oh, I love the young woman she's yeah. growing into. I hope, it's like, I hope, dude, she's nine. Uh, I hope at 18 she comes home with Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> you can what? hear them coming up. <laughs> boom, 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 <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Dad, I'm home. <laughs> Where's that video? I'm so proud. I, yeah, it's like these people act like, oh, my God, I'm so, the, you know, and listen, I know you want to celebrate your kid, and that's great. But just do, hey, happy birthday to, you know. Dude, let me say something. Bur I, I go big on the birthday. But, but as publicly? He, as he, listen, my birthdays for Max back in the day were big events. You know that. Yeah. I, yeah. Had, I had every comic worth its salt at my party. Yeah. Plus all his friends. I would get Ben and Jerry's. I would have steak tips flown oh, in. Oh, you had a banger, yeah. I had bangers. I had. You a, did. We had magicians. We've had all <laughs> the time. I hired a fucking magician <laughs> fan. He was a fan. He's like, dude, I can do magic. Guy showed up nervous because I was there. And all, was, all his fa favorite comics. Dude, doing magic tricks, shaking and sweating. I had to put him under a fucking tent. I was like, dude, are you all right? <laughs> He's fucking like this. <laughs> Guys, ready? I'm like, dude, you got to calm down. You're fucking scaring the kids. Was he good or no? <laughs> no, no. It was, he was fucking panicking. <laughs> Every trick, he was nervous. <laughs> Colin Quinn's going to see me fail. <laughs> <laughs> But oh shit! I go big, but as he's Does getting he... old, <laughs> <laughs> I love how you had to come that dude. You all right? Yeah, I did. I had to go. Uh, I had to get no, water. I'm yeah, like, dude, yeah, there's some water. That was your fault. Don't I, forget, no I go, fan. I go, dude, you're blotchy. He <laughs> <laughs> was blotching up on the fire. Like, dude, have some magic confidence. Dude, so listen, uh, here's the deal. As he's getting older, we tone it down a little bit. Less friends, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, dude, you had a zip line. You went fucking dude, big, dude. Dude, I went big. I had a blow that one up. That Remember my colonoscopy was the next day? Yeah. So I chewed and spit it out. That was, it made me mad, though. Yeah, it was a sausage, yeah, and everybody was telling how good sausage. it was. Yeah. I had them flown in. Did it have cheese in it? Yeah. Yeah, and I went like this. I go, I got it, and I chewed it, and I spit Italian it Italian sausage with cheese. Yeah. And you chewed it. I remember Nick DiPaolo. Somebody goes, why did, Verzi, why did you come? Dude, I, what? Disrespectful Oof. to the meat, man. No, no. I was like, dude, I took a morsel. I just had to. It was a morsel. And I chewed it up. But then. And what did you do with the rest of the sausage? No, no. I just gave. I, I took. I didn't know if I took it off Stacey's thing. I ate thing. it. Did you? I ate the rest oh, of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I took a little bite. I go, I'm there. Everyone's eating. He's got fucking Ben and Jerry's ice cream station in his driveway. Kids are on zip lines. Dude, there's all kinds of food. There's steak tips. And hey, I'm walking around. Man. I'm talking to fucking Nick DiPaolo and his wife. Stacy's eating. And I'm miserable because I had a colonoscopy fucking 12 hours later. And somebody goes, Percy, why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> well, you threw bangers. I throw bangers. But as, as it gets older, it goes a little smaller. But we're always going out. Last year, rented a limo, took him to Mount Kisco, did the racetrack, yeah. party in there. I fought with that fucking lady, too, by the way. Oh, I yeah. fucking flipped out. Did you? She brought the cake out without forks and spoons. These kids, are, cake comes out. I saw a kid grab a fistful no. of cake. I go, they, she put the plates, she put the cake in front of him. She's cutting it with a fucking plastic knife, ruining the cake my wife made from scratch. Oh, my God. She's, she's cutting it up in, like, chunks, oh. putting it on. I go, what are you doing? Well, young girl. Young girl. Yeah. I go, what are you doing? I go, you just put cake in front of 10 kids without a fucking fork or a spoon. What do you want him to wait? She goes, oh, I'll get it. I go, get it. <laughs> I grabbed the manager. I got three of them. I go, listen, let me talk to you. I go, I'm about to lose it. I go, that girl in there just put the cake in front of kids without a fucking utensil. And they're st what are they supposed to stare at it? And what, 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 I go, the f we ordered French fries. There's no, well, you didn't, you, I, we, you, they go, you ordered fries? No, I ordered hamburgers without fries because I'm a maniac. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. I, you got pizza without sauce, by the way? Yeah. I was, I was, anyways, I digress. Uh, yeah. Now that we're getting all, it's in the afternoon. Three o'clock, two o'clock. Come. We eat around four. That's when you eat. We sing happy birthday at five. I'm going to say this. I'm going to add to your bone. If you have a breakfast bone, I, I know we're on his bone, but if you have a breakfast. How do we get back to my bone? No, because, yeah, I'm just thinking, you, you know, you have selfish parents have something to do later. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's not that one. As um, far as this, as far as this, um, that's a shit parent because the breakfast bone is it gets it hour, out of the way. It's an hour and a half at most. Now his bone is going overdoing it for kids um, well, on social media. Yep. Um, I Th think. How about this? I, how about leaving it, leaving your kid off of it? That's a clout chaser. That's a yes. clout chaser. 
It's a clout chaser. Life has not been the same. here's what they did. They put one video up and they got all kinds of sweet responses, right? One year they put, and then they did it, and then I'll do it, and they keep putting the posts up to get those little, oh, you're such a good dad. You're such a, oh, you, you're, what a precious little girl. What are this and a that? They're clout chasers. They're looking for accolades. Look, I'll put a little photo up of my birth, yeah. kid's birthday party the day of, maybe the next day, and then we're done. The yeah. birthday's over. Happy birthday to my little boy or my little girl. Love you so much. Hope you have a great day. That's fine. Yeah. When it goes beyond that, when day of, day of, when or it, next day, when it goes beyond that, you're clout. You're you're, you're trying to get you're some shit. Chaser. Yep. Good That's good bone. It, good bone. Can't believe it, it correlated with yours. Great. I, I will say though that the year that I was, my parents were like, "Oh, we'll just do a quick birthday and then you can go do your thing at night." That was like the best coming of age moment for me. Where I was yeah. like. I'm on my own for my birthday. I go hang out with my boys. Yeah. That was a good time, though. Yeah, there's, a, there's a moment in, yeah, in yeah. life where you're like, birthday by myself? Let's yeah. go. Go over yeah. to your yeah. boys' house, fucking make yeah. love to them. What? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Or what? <laughs> <laughs> Catch your first beat. What the way from your friend? We, what? <laughs> we know how you fucking all comics in Atlanta roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> um, all right, we got Jacob coming in. Uh, this one's triggering the shit out of me right now. Uh -huh. He's got a... He's got a bone to pick when you're having some sort of heightened emotion or you're like freaking out about something and then somebody tells you, calm down. That made me, that made me freak out hearing that. Let me Wait, tell you something. Somebody goes like this, well, hey, why don't you calm down? Oh, It's the reverse. It does the reverse. But yes. Someone says, well, I'm, all right, I'm a flipping out. This fuck, you just say, I want you to say, calm down and then say, relax. Ready? Dude, this fucking guy, I fucking, I can't stand it. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to fucking uh, dude, kill him. Calm down, relax. What? Just calm down, relax. I'm not going to fucking relax. <laughs> now I hate you. How's that? Yeah. You and him. I don't like either one of you fucks. Yeah. That, it does the opposite. No, it's. The opposite. It's, it does the opposite. It, it, it's, it's really, actually, I'm going to say it's a passive aggressive move, dude. Yeah, it's a control. It's a control. They don't, because now you're, yeah. they see you and your shit, unless, and they're like, nah. Unless you're in church. <laughs> if you're in church and you're starting to flip out, yeah. calm down. Or you're chasing your wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down. Yeah, if you're, if you're, if you're chasing your wife. You got a shovel. <laughs> And you're like, yeah. you motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. If, if, yeah, calm down. If you, I can saw, only, you can always say calm down if you're crying. Yeah. Calm down. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, yeah. Or if you watch me during a Knicks game, yeah. you might be like, oh, so, no, 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 no. No, no, There's no calm down. No, no, no. There's no calm down during any sporting no. event. If I'm watching the Knicks game last night and somebody told me to calm down, I would say, please leave my home. Yeah. <laughs> leave my home now. Get in your car. Yeah. Uh, uh, Paul, I, we're at a bar. It, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> calm down is the exact it's a, it's opposite. I think you nailed it when you said control. It's control. It is control. Control because yeah. it's like they can't handle the fact that like you're yeah it, doing something right now. Forget you, calm down. That's yeah. what you got. You grab you by your fucking. All right, would you calm down and relax? Oh, oh God! No. But even worse than that, ready? Watch this. Start yeah. flipping out. What? Even worse than aggress. I might take an aggressive calm down better than this. Ready? Go ahead. All right, dude. What are they doing? Hey, what are they hey, doing hey, every oh, time? Calm down. Fuck you, it's the exactly. Knicks. Exactly, that hurt, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 no, because they try to make themselves look like reasonable. The, yes. They're, they're the reasonable. You got it together. They're the cool head. Yeah. They're the calm, cool head, and they're looking at you like you're nuts. No, 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 no. The calm, no. calm, the calm, calm. Oh. The calm, calm down is worse. I'll take it. Hey, calm down. Because yeah. that's, hey, I'm snapping you out of it. Right. Like, Maybe. You, you could look as a friend going, dude, calm, calm down, down, calm down, calm down. down, relax. down. Be, you know, yeah. then, then, hey, buddy, buddy. Calm just, down. Just take that therapeutic. Oh, oh, the therapeutic. That tone. Calm, hey. Yeah, that doctor tone. Calm down. Listen, calm listen. Down. listen. Relax. Oh. How about that one? Oh, dude, oh, 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 fuck God, you. Oh, yeah, I know. Like, you never had a bad yeah, day in your I, life, oh, you piece of shit. Oh, God. Because it's, 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 I'm better than you. Yeah. I, I have control better than you. Yeah, I am more put together you than you. You want to know what? They're, they're fucking pedophiles. That's why. What? Ooh. What? 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 Wait. What? <laughs> what bone are you No, on? maybe they what have you... skeletons in their closet. What? It's, that's different than pedophiles. Yeah, dude, that's not. No, but there's something's up with those people. Maybe something's up, but when they go relax, they're not kid touching. Uh, maybe not. No. All right. Okay. That's heavy. Okay. <laughs> what's the next much. bone, Mike? <laughs> All right. Let's clear this up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, but, you know, but they got skeletons. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they just okay. Sex trafficking. No, 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 no. 
No sex okay. trafficking. Okay, okay. All right, we got Josh Jesus with a bone Christ. that... Uh, Something to hide. No. Okay. There's nothing to hide. They're just cunts. Okay. Go ahead. Josh has a bone to pick with kids that won't let him touch. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was going to say, boy, they are in tune with us. I was right. <laughs> calm, calm down. <laughs> oh, yeah, but that's appropriate. Who that's appropriate. The kitchen? Yeah, you, know, you, yeah, you got to. He's a pedophile. You calm. see a guy go, look at that little. Dude. Calm down. Relax. Calm, calm down. down. Relax. Relax. Yeah. Relax. Uh, dude, look at her. <laughs> calm down. We're at, a, we're at a little girl's volleyball game. Calm down. Uh, we're at gymnastics. Dude, they're 11. Calm down. Uh, dude, look at her ass. She's eight. Calm down. Okay. All right. Now we're actually calming down. <laughs> That's actually two years Look at that dog. Down. Calm down. <laughs> uh, this is coming in from Josh. And I want you to know he signed it, your biggest boner, Josh. That's nice. how he signed off. Oh. He I has mean, a bone. Kind of calm down. <laughs> <laughs> he wishes he could. He wishes he would have done a video bone on this so that the person knew that he was having a problem with him. <sighs> Very simple. That. He has a pro- bone to pick with Ubers and cab drivers that don't wear deodorant. Oh, dude. Dude, I'm going to tell you something. You know who he's voting for. There needs to be... No, no, but you know what? There needs to be a number. There needs to be a number or a hotline to call up the cape. I thought you were going to say on the cab, like he's a four. That means he smells. <laughs> like the restaurants have A, B, and C. Oh, that's... A, he's rating. He's got a, he's got a number or rating yeah. for his, for his a, level of he's smell. He's got a guy like this, a little... <laughs> no. Yeah, instead of the smiley faces, it's, it, like on how do you do it's, it's it's this, it's this, it's this. Oh, it's this. this. No, you know what? You have to say, dude. I got to tell you something, and th- and this brings me back to when. So when I went to London, when I was in London performing, yeah, I brought the family, okay, and we went on a train to Paris, yeah, and we were like, hey, we're only two and a half hours, so let's go to Paris for three nights, yeah. right, and then we'll fly from there. Sure. So we go to the concierge at the the hotel. He gives us the three restaurants we got to go to. He gives us the Italian, yep. which is the best Italian I had in my yep. life. He gives us the French, yeah. and he gives us the other one. We go to this French restaurant. We're excited. We're sitting down. Stacy and I get a glass of wine. The kids are sitting down. They're going to get their steak and fries, whatever they're going to get, having a good time. I swear to God on everything that, that is holy. This man walked into, the, this waiter walked in, and the smell was so bad. The smell of this man and this waiter was so bad. Not only did it ruin our dinner, yeah. my kids had to get up and leave. I, almost, I was in the bathroom <laughs> gagging, and I see a table of Frenchmen. He walked up to them after, and after he leaves, even the Frenchmen go, Dude, Even like, the French people? The, dude, it was it was literally a human Pepe Le Pew. I'm not joking. It was a human Pepe Le Pew. It was the most disgusting thing. It ruined a 300 and something dollar dinner. Yep. And when I've gotten in a cab, where a cab, at least a restaurant I could walk outside. At least a restaurant I could go in the bathroom and throw up. I'm You're in a cab. <laughs> You gotta stick your head you're, out the window like a shit suit. You're, you're in a cab in New York City. There you have this much room, and this stinky piece of shit's up there. Lord knows what he had for lunch, mm. and you're smelling that. There should be a number you call and report. You can on an Uber. You can actually rate it and be like, the guy smelled. Can you? Yes. Good. They'll give you your money back too. Yeah, they'll and give it, you the money back. I'll be like, dude, the whole time I was gagging because this stinky asshole smelled. Look at you. If you're driving people around, you gotta take a shower. At least that week. Because let me tell you something. Anything in public service. Smell doesn't happen overnight. No. You cannot take a shower for a day and not smell. 100%. You smell, you didn't shower for a week. If you smell, yeah, your your hygiene is so bad for so long. You can't take a baby wipe and wipe your pit and put some deodorant on. Can grab a Mando. A Mando. Oh, we love the Mando. Put Love wipes them. in Dude, a, Mando, the little Mando. The that's a good point, what you said. Bring wipes in your fucking Have car. A man, go dude, to the bathroom. Wi- sponsor, wipe your balls. Our sponsor, Mando. Your fucking ass. They gave you the little... The little yeah. You know what we did with the Mando little wipes? I put them in Max's lacrosse bag. Nice. After he does lacrosse, takes all his shit off, wipes down right there. How about the Mando... Uh, deodorant stick was Ooh, amazing. That was Max took that, but I got the Mando cream. That I take yeah. on the road. Uh, yes. The cream. I love the cream. Dude, it's, incre- it's amazing. Oh, I put it on my stomach too. If I put you it downtown. S- people don't I go realize. downtown with the dude, cream. Why not? Yeah. It, people I don't realize balls, what a smell does. My balls smell good. All right, let's prove it, Paul. Pe- people, people don't. People don't. <laughs> that'd be hilarious if I was like, no, they do. No, uh, that'd be a great promo. <laughs> Look how they smell just lifting up your shaft. It's like wash your balls and wash yourself, dude. You're driving people around. You're in public service. Yeah. If it's disgust, if you're disgusting, dude. Dude, I got out of a cab. I got in a cab. I got in a cab. It was the winter, too. It was like 10 below. Mm. Like opening the window was a nightmare. I got in the cab. And I left. See, I went, hey, pull over right here. And I paid. I go, I got to go. Dude. You didn't say something to him, did you? I did. I go, dude. See, I can't do I it. I didn't say it to him. I said, 
The cab smells too much, dude. I don't know what it is, but I can't, I'm going to throw up. I got to go. And I got out, and he didn't say shit. He, yeah, knew. he knew. He knew. Dude, um, me and Bartnick were in a Uber, caravan Uber Ugh. in Pittsburgh. The guy, I, the guy was so big, I actually smelled his fat. <laughs> I, I actually didn't. I, he smelled fat. Oh, okay. And it had this fucking lingering thing, and I almost fucking vomited. It's like doughy? <laughs> yeah, it smelled like, it smelled like fat. I was yeah. in an elevator today with somebody. <coughs> they came out, I got in, went 10 <coughs> floors down, and it was the worst. I mean, it was like... Yeah, that's the perfect phrase. A Frenchman would not approve. You know what the worst is? A guy in a suit that smells. Oh, oh that's good. Oh. Yeah, because then you know he's got one suit forever. Oh, that suit's been through the ringer. Oh, uh, yeah. Goes to the gym now, in the suit. Now, how about this, though? Oh. How about the opposite of what we're talking about? What? what about when you go and it smells like good cologne or perfume? I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Because like then you know the person, not only not only is the car smell clean, yeah. you know everything's clean. I went in one where the guy had a cherry uh, air fryer. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was like, I wanted to eat cherries. Smell good. I'm a sucker for for a good cologne. Yeah, just go to the fucking store and put a, a deodorant thing in the car. I would have done what you did. I get out. I I'm got, not yeah, joking. I just get, get a new one. Get out. I just get a new one. Get out. Get out. Don't put yourself through it. Why are you going? Uh, you smell. Yeah. The car smells. And I report it right away. Yeah, report it. What else, Mikey? All right, we're going to uh, walk ourselves the closest thing out with, if you pay attention to the screen for just one moment. Oh, what is that, boys? Oh, my God. Video bone. Video bone. Video bone. This guy's oh, got this dogs. Guy, this guy's in a fucking... This, guy, this, this guy's, guy's in, in a wilderness. Mood. He's in a dog park. I guarantee it's a dog park and somebody's dog. Look at his face. He's mad. I have a video bone with self-checkout in the supermarket or Target. Why does it cost more for everything now, but you have one line open and... 10 friggin' self-checkouts. I don't work at the supermarket. I don't work at Target. I don't want to do their job. Pay people and have more cashiers. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. I was wrong. I was wrong. I no, he's was, walking a dog. I was walking a dog, but I thought it was going to be a dog park bone, which I can't wait. I, I, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of bones at a dog park. But absolutely. First of all, from Boston. Good for you. 100%. Go Celts. Uh, I mean. Well, whatever. Wait, wait, okay. I mean, we'll see. I mean, well, I, yeah, I mean, I'm coming off a hard one. All right, you know? sorry. But what I'm saying is this. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. The self-checkout makes me sick to my stomach. Okay. Because I know it's easier. I know it's supposed to be easier. It never is. You still have to have that one or two people there because if something doesn't work. Beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see cashier. How about I just see her first? Yeah. How about I just go to her first? You got these women. When I grew up, you had women. Beep, 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 skip, doop, tap, 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 skip, boom. Do you got your card? Oh, I'll swipe mine. Yeah. Boom, swipe. Big bap. Boom, done. And, and it's a giant corporation with billions of dollars. How about for helping unemployment? How about you fucking throw in four more cashiers and the, and the yeah. lines go quicker? Why don't you take your bonus and stick it in your ass this year Yeah. and, and hire a lady who's trying to feed her kids? And by the way, the self-checkout line is huge now. Self the self-checkout line at Target went down, went down the store. It down the store. And here's the thing, too. People are stealing, too. And I don't blame them because you're going, uh, I don't know. Just throw it in the bag. Did I pay for it? I don't know if I pay for it. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. Well, I mean, you know if you pay for it. Well, no, dude, sometimes, yeah. sometimes it's like, did it go through? Right, right. You don't did know it if go it, through it, twice? Did it go through? Did you overpay? You know why? You yeah. know why? Yeah. You know why? I'm not a cashier. Yeah. I didn't go to cashier school. I didn't go down that route. I chose another path. I went and became a comic, so when I buy stuff, I can go to a cashier and have her do what she does. Yeah. The Target in Mount Kisco has eight Eight self-checkout stations. Eight. And the line is down the fucking thing. Get four more cashiers. Give them money. Yep. Let them earn a living. Look. And, st and, and stop making the billions of dollars and, and just self-checkout. Turn they're turning people into robots. How, how's this? I, I have such a fear when I go buy things from my youth when I was a criminal that when I'm self-checkouting, I feel like I'm not, I, I'm like, I'm not stealing. Right. Like, I'm, I'm like... I don't. I, I, yeah. I, I don't want to do it. I have. I, I have anxiety. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm like, I, you know, I, you know. I don't know what I did. I do it right. You used to steal too, right? Yeah. yeah when yeah. I was a kid, you know yeah. what I mean. So it's like I don't want to be involved in it. Yeah. I want you to get all my stuff. There's nothing, dude. I love going to a grocery store somewhere. Do they have them at the airports now? You know the stores at the airport. 
they don't even have somebody there. Really? Dude, I went into an airport at like 4 in the 4.30 in the morning. You do it yourself. Jeez. So you're supposed to walk up, get your water, get your little snack, get your thing, and then go up. You put it on the thing. And I'm like... Dude, they're facing... You, you want to know what I saw in Arizona? What? I couldn't believe it. Just driverless cars driving around. They have them everywhere. I can't... Dude, you know what I saw in L.A.? Dude, I, I just saw, I go, dude, there's nobody in the fuck. And the guy goes, he goes, they're all over here. You know what I saw in L.A.? What? I was in front of the improv. Yeah. A robot delivering delivery. What? A robot. Like a... Z -Z uh, not a person. Hello. Not C-3PO, you <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> C-3PO and a pizza. <laughs> it was a like little... Like a box? It was a box robot that was delivering food to somebody's house. Yeah, dude. I'm going to tell you something I'm going to say one time on this show, and I'm never going to say it again. I believe in time travel. And children are our future. And I believe <laughs> children that, are our future. That, that, that some of that Terminator shit, like where it's going to be eventually man versus machine, can actually fucking happen. I think they're going to turn them into soldiers later. I think it's going to... Did you see what that one thing where they said, what's your goal? And it said to fucking, the one robot was like, to prove that we don't need you people or some shit, dude. I'm telling you, man. It but, starts now, dude. I'm watching cars driving by themselves. Pizza's getting delivered. Don't I'm, start looking up Boston Dynamics on, on YouTube. I'm telling you're you, dude. You're the ones doing it. Don't listen, do it's not going to be don't do this to him. <laughs> Please listen to me. Please don't. He, he thinks this is happening in two years. Please don't do this to him. Please don't do this uh, to him. I'll keep my mouth shut. Please right. don't, don't mention anything about <laughs> dynamics. Don't, I don't, I, I don't, I, we don't need it on this show. We don't need it. This guy just went from, this guy went from self-checkout at fucking CVS to fucking ter Terminator. The, the Terminator. Do you understand? We don't need it. He's taking Xanax on planes. This guy. Is he, he rogue lasagna? He's eating rogue lasagna. He doesn't, we don't need this for him. Okay, Paul. Uh, all right, you're right. You're right. right. I will say, be careful at self-checkout because Target started doing RFIDs in all of every product. And they have these like big scanners that they could, they'll click your receipt and then they'll take the RFID over your cart and it'll go boop, 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 boop. Three things not on your receipt without even having to look at it. And Bobby's right too. Sometimes it doesn't work. You got to call the lady. Like if you get bananas, they need a code. If you get fruit, they need a code. If you want to go yeah. get a head of lettuce, they got to go, hold hold on. Then they got to type in a code. There you go. It's like, so I need you anyway. No, but they, but you, then they're like, just go here, do the, I, yeah. I'm not here to fucking learn how to do a register. No. I'm not here to learn anything. Yeah. I'm here to get Cheez-Its. <laughs> I'm here to get fucking rope, That's duct it. tape, and plastic bags. <laughs> and a bulletproof vest what are you, to protect me from the robots. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, there we go. All right, guys. Well, all right, Another fun go. one. There's a, I mean, that's a good video, Bone. That's a great video, Bone. Bone. He looked like it was going to be something else, but it was this. This is why I love it, and he's from Boston. Yeah. Love it. He's definitely from Boston, right? Of course he was. Yeah. Dude, I'm sick of that. Fucking. <laughs> dude, self checkouts are fucking retarded, dude. They're fucking nuts. I'm up here in the woods. <laughs> yeah. That threw me off, but. Uh, All right. There you go, guys. Thank, thank, you, thank guys. you so much for being uh, watching the episode. Thanks for being a part of this podcast, this show that we're doing. Yep. Uh, Patreon, thank you so much. Patreon.com slash bone to pick cast. If you want to be a member of our Patreon and support the show, at Gmail. Yeah, and it's not even that much money. What is it? Five bucks. Five bucks. Yeah. Come on, five bucks for this show. Are you? We should be charging twenty. Come on, man. Look, what show? People say once they hit see the show, they said it's over. There you go. Go be a member. Of the go be a member of the Boner Brigade. Join the Patreon and also go to Patreon.com. No, Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. No, bone to pick cast. Patreon. No, for the Patreon.com slash Bone to Pick Cast. Bone to pick cast at gmail.com to send your bones in. If you're watching on YouTube, smash that subscribe button. I hate saying it. What? I don't like even saying it. You don't like saying what? Hit the subscribe button. You should because just it, do it. If you, you guys didn't hit the subscribe button, I don't know do what it. to tell just, you. Just do it. Tell the friend about the show. And listen, tell your friend that has a little attitude and temper. Yeah, dude, this, show, this show is for them, too. Listen, don't be afraid to go off on these video bones. Yeah. Don't be, do your thing. Listen, we don't want you confronting somebody in public and no, getting we into do. a fight. We do. Okay, but all right. <laughs> we, want, we want to see a live solves video bone. Oh, that would be. Oh, somebody going somebody up. Somebody go, go, can I talk to you for a second? Just grabs their mask on or off. Oh, God. On or off. 
Oh, God, I right, saw somebody go. with a mask. Right, we'll, we'll, get into, okay. we'll get into that. Uh, I'll see I'll... you guys next time. Check me out for all of my dates at paulverzi.com. We're adding dates all the time. Check out Nocturnal Emissions on Netflix. And go to punchup.live slash Robert Kelly. Watch my special kill box for free. Watch all my unedited stuff I put on social media. It goes up there unedited. No beeps, no nothing, because that's the way they roll over there, and all my dates are up there, too. Mike? I'll be in the Finger Lakes in Penyan all summer doing shows at the. Uh... <laughs> Whoa! I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what? Just Finger Lakes makes me laugh. Oh, at the Penyan. I didn't say Finger Lakes. <laughs> <laughs> What's a Penyan? Penyan is a city. There's oh, okay. a Lawrence High Brewery. There's a really great uh, show that I do uh, all summer long. Check out there. Mike, all dude. Super funny. Awesome. Check him out. Hilarious. In my own head.com. And we'll see you guys next time on a, a Bone, Bone to Pick, Pick podcast. podcast.